Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Sputnik and uh, Resco here. We're both from Seven Sons, and we now own a website called ExeniaModding.com. It's a modding website. We post tutorials. We pretty much do everything that you can imagine. It's all based around modding, but that's enough about the website. Let's go into this. Today we're showing you how to make a mod tool in C Sharp with JRPC, which is a lot better than XRPC, at least in my opinion. And today we're going to show you connection, calling, and basically setting up the tool. So uh, I guess we'll get right into the tool. You're going to want to go to the new project. We'll just call this Windows Form application and move on. And it'll create the project, and you'll be presented with this. Right there, Pretty much, you're just want to get a, you're gonna want to go to references, add reference, and add JRPC and xdevkit.dll. There'll be a link for that in the description. Click OK. Sorry about the noise in the background. I have a bunch of annoying siblings. Oh, anyway, go to go to click a button and add it to your form. Have imaginary and okay. well, you might want to like expand your format a little bit. Pretty much, we're gonna call this JRPC Tut Exenium Modding. And then you're gonna go to your button, name it, connect, except not spelled with a random huge letter. Connect and double click. All right, and then before. And then before you do any of that stuff, you're going to come up here and put using JRPC underscore client, and then using xdevkit, and um, JRPC cannot work without xdevkit in the uh, in the folder of your form, and then you're going to want to come up here, right under where it says public partial class, put JRPC. And then you're going to want to call it as a variable. So I'll just do JTAG equals new JRPC. And then open it and close it. And that's all you're going to need for now. Oh, yeah. You're also going to want to add up. You're going to want to add a UNT called SV. And SV is SV underscore game send server command. Yeah, sorry about that. Hold on. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But um, here, let me hang up. All right. Then you're gonna want to come over here and put JTAG dot connect. Open it, close it. Okay. And you're going to put jtag.memory.connect. And this pretty much checks to see if uh, this pretty much will connect Christian. all this right here. And you're going to go under that yeah. if open and close jtag.active connection space equals equals true. And then put two and symbols jtag.memory. Dot active connection equals true. And then once you have it there, you're going to add in a message box. So put message box dot show. And then you're going to open it, close it, and then go in here and put two quotations. Close. And then put in a semicolon. And then you're going to want to make sure it's connected. So connected to them and console and then right under that put else enter and then put message box dot show and then put failed to connect them and console Alright, and then we'll 
now that you have that, you're going to go back to your form. Add another button. And then you're going to want to put something here. We will do Pro Mod. <laughs> and yeah, we'll do Infections. Alright, and then you're going to put jtag.callvoid. And then you're going to want to put sv, comma, minus one, comma, zero, another comma, and then text brackets, and then you're going to want to close it and put a semicolon. So this you're going to put s, c, g, underscore, f, o, v, it is 95. Then you're going to want to do another call for the jtag dot call void. Same stuff as S V minus one zero. And close it and this. So then you're going to put R underscore specular map. And then you're going to want to set it to and jtag dot call void. SV minus one zero and then closed off. S space UI underscore show list. Set that to one. JTAG dot call boy. And then you're gonna put SV minus one zero. And this time it's going to set text. So you're gonna put F backslash quotation, backslash, and another quotation. And then right in between the second backslash and the quotation, you're going to put text. And that will pop up as kill feed text. And then if you want to set center text, which is I printed bold text, or Whatever you want to call it, you can put C backslash co quotation backslash another quotation and then put and then put up five join exenium modding and then we'll put a heart. All right, now that you have that, that is setting infections and connecting to your console and. This, if I forgot to mention, is for Modern Warfare 2. And all of these are the same for Modern Warfare 3 and Ghost, except the SV offset is different. So now we.